Welcome back. So for this lesson, we're going to go over the substitution method. So this is one of the two algebraic methods we can use to solve simultaneous equations. So resource checklist, make sure you've got your calculator. So just some visual cues as we're going through this PowerPoint, the pen symbol, our WALT is to use the substitution method to solve systems of simultaneous equations. So once again, clear working out and labeling each equation. Now the labeling part is really important when we're using our algebraic methods. So the substitution method can be used for equations that are difficult or impractical to graph. There could be an equation with a gradient that's very difficult to manually calculate and put on a graph. And it can be used for equations that have very large numbers, so it may become a bit impractical to graph that. There are two algebraic methods that are commonly used to solve simultaneous equations, the substitution method and the elimination method. The substitution method is used when one or both of the equations is in a form where one of the two variables is the subject. So as a consequence of it being the subject, that means we can substitute it in to the other equation and get our solutions very quickly. This variable is then substituted into the other equation, producing a third equation with only one variable. This third equation can then be used to determine the value of that variable. So this stuff can be a bit confusing just to talk about and write down. So I'm gonna go through a question and give you guys an example of how to use the substitution method. So we're gonna solve the simultaneous equations y equals 2x minus one and 3x plus 4y equals 29 using the substitution method. Okay, so we're gonna use the substitution method to solve this set of equations. So in this instance, we have one with a single variable at the front. So that's gonna make this a lot easier. But the first thing I need to do, I need to label my equations. This is equation one, this is equation two. So this makes it a lot easier when I'm doing my working out, so I know which equation I'm referring to. So first of all, I'm going to sub equation one into equation two. So that means I'm gonna write 2x minus one instead of y in this equation. So how I'm gonna do that? So now that I've done that, my next step is to evaluate this to get my third, to answer my third equation, I only have one answer. So just basic algebra, expanding my brackets, as you can see. So 11x equals 33. So I get x equals three. Now what I need to do, is I need to solve this for y as well, because I only have one variable. So I'm going to use this down here to solve for y. So everywhere I have an x in this equation, I'm gonna put a three instead. So 
So now I have my answer of y equals 5. But all these always always, I need to check my solutions. So I'm going to check by substituting both of these into this equation. You can use either equation, but I think it makes sense to, to use two in this instance. So everywhere I see an x in this equation, I'm going to put a 3 instead. And everywhere I see a y, I'm going to put a 5 instead. So, as you can see, it works out my left-hand side is equal to my right-hand side. So I'm just going to say my answer in the middle here. Three comma five is a solution. That's it for this lesson. So I want you guys to complete the worksheet, the substitution method. So you're gonna to have to be really good at using your algebraic skills of rearranging and now substituting. But I think you guys are all really good at that. So once again, email me, post on the OneNote, comment in the Teams chat if you have any questions whatsoever. So labeling your equations will make the substitution method a lot easier to keep track of. Sometimes you're gonna to have to label a third equation after doing some rearranging and if you haven't labeled from the start, you're just gonna confuse yourself and get the wrong answer. And you're gonna make it really difficult for me to mark your answers and to know whether you've done the process correctly. So keep at it. This is just algebra, pure algebra. That's all we're doing for the substitution method. And you guys are good at that.